have a very special guest, a young lady that I've worked with in so many westerns. In fact, she's the queen of the westerns, the action westerns, Miss Peggy Stewart. Hello, Peggy. How you doing? Honey? I'm wonderful, darling. How are you? Just great. It's Hi great. Hi out there. I'm glad to see you again, too. Well, Peggy, what you been doing for yourself? You, I've you been, been having a wonderful time. I've um, been working some on uh, Knott's Landing, and also I have a semi-running uh, thing on Days of Our Lives, a soap opera, Days of Our Lives. You haven't seen this. Yeah. I'm a 75-year-old mountain woman. You'd fall in love all over again. Yeah, <laughs> really, truly. <true. laughs> she's just marvelous. And she's real old and rickety and everything else. You know. So I've been having a wonderful time. What, what does she do? Is she a... Um... She works with uh, the detective on the show called Roman. She's a detective? Yeah, she's oh, a detective. Okay. And uh, she helps him because the department keeps sending her out in disguises. So I've been out as the old mountain woman and I went out as uh, a bag lady on the docks. And I went out as a hotel maid. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then just as myself, uh, her name in the show, they call her Sweetheart, but her name is Rhoda in the show. I remember when you used to play a young Texas Ranger agent, undercover agent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can still do that except for the first adjective, young. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that goes back in the days of old Republic, doesn't it? Oh, Mick, isn't that something? I tell you, I think, you know what? It seems like everything I do now, there was a, let me start here. There was a time uh, when I left Republic, about two years after I left Republic, that I wanted to get out of Westerns, you know, just be forgotten. They. The town sort of knew me. I'd made a reputation in westerns. And I wanted to get back to where I had started in the business, which were some pictures with Betty Davis and Margaret Sullivan, some lovely things like this. So I thought, well, the only way is just drop out totally, become a sales lady or something, you know, and uh, let the name drop. So I went in with a lovely lady, June Leff, and we opened the first casting office to NBC. I stayed there for three years. The influx of TV was just coming in, all live TV. And so it was a lot of Eastern directors and actors and things who didn't know me and I didn't know them. And I thought, hot dog, it's working. You see, nobody knows anybody. So I did this for three years. And then I said, that's it. I've had this side of the desk. I don't like it. I'm going back to acting. And I'm so glad I spent three years out of it because my first picture back into acting again was Gunsmoke. Wonderful. Back up Wonderful. on the buckboard again after three years of saying, let's get out of Westerns. And the second one was Paladin. Oh, great, great, great. <laughs> so, but now, uh, I was telling some friends of ours, John and Pam Church, the whole snake just has turned around, and it seems like on your resume that you take, you have to show to people what you have done and so forth. They always stop where it says, three years at Republic, leading lady too, you know, yeah. and mentions you, and um, they always stop there. It has nothing to do with the part I'm after, but that's the thing that causes them to interest in me. So all my Western career is right back 100% supporting me and, and the stuff <laughs> I do today, and gets me my jobs, you see? That is fantastic, yeah. isn't it? So I'm one, just, I love it, I it's just wonderful. really do. All you people out there are just wonderful too, do support me that way and write me. I'm a terrible answerer, but I love to get your letters. Don't stop. <laughs> well, do you know, Peggy, we had over 50,000 letters come in on Dawn of the Western. Did you really? For another episode and on uh, Six Gun Heroes. You see? So it, it helps. <laughs> Gunzo, you're you got, a true you, Gunzo. You've got a lot of fans out there. Yes, you do. You have a lot of them out there and, and uh, People that watch Six Gun Heroes, it's on, it's on reruns now in most places, and we have about 13 of them down. Yeah. And uh, we have the other rest of them out for too long. But. Oh. You know, uh, we went to that beautiful function last night that you got the award mm -hmm. called the Boot Award. Yeah, the Boot. The out boot. the door. <laughs> That's the Boot. And, uh, and we the had so much boot. fun and everything, but I remember... Uh, Dale Evans got up 
and she spoke about uh, how beautiful it was uh, in all the churches, how much that everybody in the churches just truly adore us, you know, and they, follow the Westerns. and They follow the Westerns because, you know, it, it's, it's good for children, you know, that good always overtakes evil, you know, and it's, I guess that they're looking, you know, for another hero or something yeah. nowadays. Huh? They need another hero, you know, to follow, someone to follow. Yeah. I know that uh, when I was a kid, I had my heroes to follow. It was Tom Hanks, Buck Jones, Tim McCoy, who gives no hooter. And, and when I got to meet guys like that, I, you know, I just nearly flipped, you know. Yeah. And uh, the fellow that I've always wanted to meet and be around, you know, Tony Caruso. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tony, he's such a heavy. <laughs> oh, I, I love that guy. Isn't he fantastic? <laughs> Sitting back here, I'm watching him work a few minutes ago. That dirty laugh, you know. Oh, I just killed three guys. <laughs> Tony and Barcroft. Yeah, him and Barcroft. Yeah, Barcroft was a little Roy Barcroft, he's, oh, God, he's a, he's worked, I get, Roy worked with just about every cowboy star in the business. That's right. Uh, Barcroft, and I'd say Charlie has too. King. Yeah, Charlie King. Oh, yeah. Charlie was, oh, everybody knows Charlie King. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, that's one of the first ones to say, where's Charlie King, you know? Yeah. And, uh, oh, Charlie, and of course, little Bob Steele, the sheriff, little Bob Steele, they all, all still want to know where he is. Mm -hmm. You've seen Bob and so on and so forth. And you think, uh, you worked with Lash, didn't you? Yeah, mm -hmm. I sure did. I did, I sang in one of Lash's. No. I did too, I sang. Which one is that? I'm going to buy the oh print Oh my gosh, year. what is it? I don't know the name of it. Um, Gold, Gold Rush or something like that. I don't know the name of it. Well, I'll be but I'll tell you, had on a black velvet dress, bodice dress. You'd never let me do that. Have on a black bodice dress and velveteen, you know, and I went amongst the table. I was a cabaret type girl. Lash would put you in black. That's the way he dresses. <laughs> That's the way old Lash dressed all the time. I was smart. <laughs> well, gosh, Peggy, you know, it's so nice to have you come over and visit with us today and, I and love all it. the rest of the other I cowboys just have around. Loved it. And, and the fans out there, they all love you and they love to see your westerns. And everyone asked about you. And it's just so wonderful to have you to come down and visit with us I'm today. so glad they ask. I, I'm so glad they're interested. I return verbally and with my heart all their love. And again, thank them. Thank all of you for your support. And you, you gunsel, to catch up with you is something else. <laughs> but it's always makes so wonderful to oh, That's see wonderful, you. Peggy. I love you. Well, partners, this just about winds up our little segment of Hollywood Nostalgia Theater. And I hope you've enjoyed our little story with Peggy Stewart, the queen of your action western girl. And Peggy, would you like to say so long to her? Bye. Bye now. Bye now.